It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. My beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments as well, Cancer, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe honey i would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and i am super appreciative of it when i uh, receive that extra support from you also remember to use your intuition today cancer which is a man reading some tarot cards to you put it in perspective you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the tarot cards ooh honey that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the tarot cards are just here today cancer to give you some food for thought perspective for you to consider but never making the choices in your life cancer because i believe that your life it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said darling let's get into your reading today cancer and i want to know where it is you guys are currently at in your journey how you guys are currently feeling so the archangel tiferet stepped forward for you cancer this is all all about dealing with your heart chakra this is all about um self-image as well i'm going to hold up the card uh for a little bit so forgive my shaky hand work as well i also just want to say cancer honey it's like over 100 degrees darling while i'm recording this right now so if i'm looking extra moisturized i am because it's sweat <laughs> Anyways, so I want you, I'm holding this up uh, purposefully, Cancer, so you can uh, look into the artwork because I believe with this artist, the imagery is such an impactful portion of the actual card itself. Um, definitely, I feel like this is something that most of you Cancers are going to be relating to right now. Um, so this is letting me know someone who's just going through a lot of pain right now, something that gave them a uh, little, you know, that, you know, we all can relate to a t moment in time in our life where we experience that like huge blow to the gut right the ones that where it's like you feel like you can't even breathe for a moment because you had the wind knocked out of you something's going on this week for you cancer that's putting you in this state of not feeling really whole right now feeling a little bit empty um definitely i feel like your heart chakra is like the most affected currently um something i am going to just suggest to you cancer is to look up um like a heart chakra singing bowl video um, so maybe you can connect with that a little bit and I feel like the heart chakra F tone singing bowls would be beneficial for you this week and be extremely healing. But let's get some clarifiers on this, Cancer. We have starting out the two of wands. So this is a uh, dealings in terms of uh, your long term, stressing about what you're going to do uh, with your future, Cancer. Whether it's about just you know you know that general existential crisis that we all sometimes feel, honey, or maybe it's something, some type of plans were stopped or interrupted for your long term. You know, it feels like now, like some part of your life that you felt so secure about um is now kind of being like ugh, right so there's some type of uh disruption to those plans and now uh some aspect of your life just feels like everything's up in the air perhaps or you just feel unsure about everything cancer we have the strength card in the reverse you're not sure if you're gonna able Ooh, my cancer is i'm so sorry you guys i know have been going through the hardest time out of my zodiac signs for the most part. You guys have been going through some type of grieving process, some type of heaviness, and in showing to me here with the strength card in the reverse, you guys feel like giving up, Cancer. That bums me out to see this type of dynamic. You feel like giving up. You feel as if this is just not meant for you, honey. You feel as if whatever the, with that two of wands is. It feels like you want to fold your hands clean of the situation and just feel like it's kind of a lost cause, right? Two of uh, swords uh, has you here as well. Um, definitely, you don't know where to go cancer you don't know what your next step looks like for your future it feels feels like a lot of you guys might be going through like a little bit of a midlife crisis or if you're younger like uh, me i'm 25 i will say like i'm going through like a quarter life crisis i feel like you guys are just really feeling stuck in some way and being like well what do i do from here it's kind of like you're holding your bags and you're just like well like everything that i was planning and thinking i was going to do with my life is going is now kind of just flat now two of pentacles in the reverse and it feels like part of you guys don't want to uh let go of the situation either like 
yeah it just feels like you don't have a cho like you think cancer you don't have a choice um anymore you feel i would say extremely powerless in this situation and it just shows to you like maybe like a sense of just being really overwhelmed with your life in general and just like uh now just at this sense of where you're just at a frozen place you're just like you don't know what to do next um and it's like the things that you want you feel as if you can't get anymore and so yeah it's just this weird uh oh, bums me out cancer so let's get tap into a little bit more of this energy of what it is that y'all should be just from some advice from spirit we'll say cancer this week card that came out two cards that came out knight of cups coming in with the nine of wands so this nine of wands is in the reverse though cancer this so this is showing to me um i would say cancer um this is time probably a time for you to step back time for you to instead of feeling like you need to be productive all the time right now i feel like it's really important for you guys to go through this healing process this week and not feel guilty about taking some time off to deal with the hole that you're feeling um in your heart in your chest because i feel like if you, you you're trying to go off of empty fumes at this point without having your experience of healing at all and i feel like this is part of the reason why like i don't feel like like i feel like until how many times gonna say like in a sentence honey i feel like until uh this is addressed darling nothing's gonna be able to come through to you as the knight of cups being presented to you so definitely take don't take i would say take this week cancer to just reset because i feel like if you were to try to just continue on in this sense five of pentacle or yeah five of pentacles stepping forward to you um in the upright i had to make sure this was in the upright and not inverted uh five of uh, pentacles in upright for you shows to me where it's like even if you were to continue doing the same thing trying to just keep yourself going um you're not it's just this consistent feeling of emptiness and i feel like this five of pentacles can put you in this state of spiraling and if you allow this spiral to go on for too long putting this on the back burner for too long um that's when a lot more that's when things just get a lot more unhinged, right? King of Swords coming in the reverse. I do feel like this is just a week for you, Cancer, to just take some time for your mental health. Take some time for your mental health this week and don't feel bad about taking that time for your mental health. Um, definitely uh, take some time to just spoil yourself even. I do feel like it's important for you guys just to disconnect, put things in perspective, right? Don't worry about your future right now because it doesn't matter what you stress about in your future, honey, because you need to take care of your now before your future looks promising, right? Of course, your future is going to look dim right now when your future is reliant on your current vessel's state, right? And if you don't take care of your vessel's state, then your future is going to reflect that. That's how, you know, think about it like this, right? If you have a faulty machine, ice cream machine that doesn't get quite cold enough to freeze the ice cream, so it's always like a little bit runny, you know, all future ice creams that you make, Cancer, are going to be kind of runny. And so you need to address the problem, do some slight, some slight, some slight tweaks, darling, to the actual ice cream machine itself. And then that's when future ice creams look more promising when you, up, you know, make those changes. And now the ice cream can be more full and the things that it creates in the future is like more frozen, right? I hope that analogy doesn't put off y'all or like sound weird, but... It's the best way I can, like, kind of hopefully put things in perspective for you, Cancer. Um, so I hope it helps, darling. Um, as I am just, like, sweating up, up, sweating up a storm, honey. Oh, my goodness. It is so hot in the Pacific Northwest. I thought I lived in Washington, honey. I'm, like, <laughs> this is bringing me back to the days, darling, when I lived in Texas and Florida. And, and California, honey. All the other hot states. I came up here because it was nice and pleasant, honey. But, um... Yeah, Cancer. Now let's see what are the good things in the works for you this week, right? Enough of all that heaviness, darling. Let's see what good stuff are in the works for you this week, right? Let's bring this back into a more positive message. Ooh. So right now, uh, Cancer, we have the Queen of Wands stepping forward to you. So with this Queen of... Okay, so with this Queen of Wands, Cancer, stepping forward, this is letting me know of 
I guess it's the best the best way I can put this before we even continue on with clarifiers, Cancer, is this sense of this Queen of Wands, um, this is someone who is by herself, right? And she it's because she spends time to herself that she discovers a flame, something that like inspires her. And I feel like this is like why it's kind of also partially important for you, Cancer, to take this week to heal, because it's through this healing week, while yes, you're feeling hopeless that I identified you guys as rather with that two of wands, right? In the upright, where you're worried about your future, right? And feeling like it's all all is done in the two of pentacles as well, where it's just yeah, you're just feeling at a loss. All the twos, by the way. I want to identify besides the two of cups knock on wood honey but i guess it wouldn't be a bad thing we got another two of cups i don't know why i said knock on wood but i would just say cancer write down the number two for numerology to see how that resonates um you know look it up later but as i was saying going back to the point queen of wands i feel like you will kind of find your purpose and find something that will motivate you make you feel better about your future cancer yeah something that'll help you know this is definitely with this king of pentacles stepping forward this is the energy of um that midas touch being being able to bring forth a lot more stability in your life being able to bring forth and build up building up like an empire whatever that looks like to you right just bringing forth overall just general stability and having more confidence in your own ability into doing this cancer four of wands in the reverse but this is uh, associated with accepting a situation for how it is right because with this whole knock hole in your heart right partially you don't want like it's almost like this weird dynamic i feel with you cancer where it's like something that left this gaping hole in your chest darling you still have some type of attachment to it and that's what's directly um making you feel hopeless for your future because it's like you don't want to conceptualize with the strength card in the reverse you don't want to conceptualize what life would be like without them because for i say without them but it could be a um job as well maybe you were stuck on like a specific passion right you know you like darling but with this four of wands right this is where you're putting all your eggs in this basket in the reverse so you kind of have to accept that you need to define like a new um way you have to find <laughs> you have to find the way you have to find what you're what's going to newly inspire you to fe start feeding start fanning this new flame instead of trying to invest into this old flame right cancer Queen of Swords in the reverse coming in as well, uh, stepping forward with the World card, right? So do not let this situation make you bitter, uh, Cancer. I feel like this is the best word of advice that Spear is trying to bring forth to this is like, do not let this situation make you bitter. Allow this to really direct you. And so like, I would analyze this just from a personal perspective, Cancer. I would analyze this where it's almost like whatever pain that was brought to you, I would even be bold enough to say it was pretty calculated by spirit to try to teach you some type of lesson. Now, I want to clarify by lesson, right? Um, lesson, I for me, can mean about perspective, where um, certain things you don't even think about in that type of dynamic unless you experience some type of pain. When I say it, so it doesn't mean like, oh, we got to teach you a lesson, darling. Um, this That pain may be what be the very thing that pivots you into, like gives you that adjustment for where the trajectory of where your life was going to be going, right? And from the situation closing out, um, this inspires you to shift and allows you to go into that queen of fire flame, that queen of wands flame card um i can't speak whenever i get crazy honey um and changes your life entirely does that make sense cancer i hope it does certainly but now let's get into cancer your um social life this week what does your social life look like when i say social life honey i mean it can be romantic family friends whatever right uh cancer so you guys have full moon surrenders to the divine i mean what was i just saying before cancer um this is this sense of what i was saying this is my sign where it's just like yep ca uh, cancer in terms of social life like there's some type of heartbreak some type of like hole in the chest disappointment that you are associating with something and very much so telling you where it's like in regards to the social interactions that you're having it's all directly influenced by spirit trying to do something right this is letting you know that spirit's involved in your social process you know sometimes spirit works through other people and this is the week that they are for you cancer so let's get some cards for this <clears throat> 
Queen of Pentacles. So this is, again, this Queen of Pentacles is the sense of learning how to take better care of yourself because realizing other people aren't going to do that for you. Queen of Pentacles is someone that isn't afraid to say no um, because they don't want to, well, I don't want to say they want to inconvenience themselves, but they don't, like, they don't give a resentful yes. Does that make sense? So if you don't want to do something, Cancer, you're not going to be peer pressured into doing it anymore. I really do feel like this week is all about you learning how to enforce your own personal boundaries. Three of Cups in the reverse. This is showing to me like it's almost through some type of kind of friction with people, right? Usually when this card's in the upright, it's that celebratory victory card. So this is definitely the sense of learning when to say no and take go the to and to also go the path trying to get my words out cancer taking the path that serves you best right um do not allow like uh, other people or disappointing other situations to do a disservice to your own energy death car coming in here darling I mean, yeah, this <laughs> kind of a powerful message, right? Of being able to accept the closures of certain situations in your life and realizing that it's just not good for you. Very much so a reading overall, Cancer, of um, self-love and realizing the pain that others brought to you is a sign that you need to work on your boundaries and not be afraid of asking to be treated better. Two of Cups. Oh my gosh, Cancer. <laughs> I said knock on wood. This is why I said knock on wood, darling, because now it's in the end part uh, someone did it knock on the wood with me. So now you got all the twos. So I'm going to reaffirm the message from before cancer of writing down the number two. Two of cups in the reverse is showing to me kind of just like this disappointment and being like, okay, the situation that you thought was going to be for a lifetime instead of a season kind of hurt your heart, right? Two of cups is a situation of just accepting something for how it is. Allow it go to go through that death situation um, and to just keep it moving, uh, Cancer. So now, uh, with that being said, honey, let's get into... I can't believe that happened, Cancer. <laughs> uh, with that being said, though, let's now get into my Cancer's financial and this uh, career this week. Let's see what's going on there. Two cards trying, trying to come out for you, Cancer. We have the full moon in Gemini stepping forward for you, Cancer. The answers you need are coming in terms of your finances. We love that. Full moon in Pisces, ba uh, balancing your spirituality and practicality. I love this. So this is very much so a message right off the bat in terms of your career and finances, Cancer, is to keep a level head um, right now. Do not allow, do not spiral yourself. Um, this is definitely showing you kind of can see this as a sign of like, for those who are not emotionally grounding themselves to not allow depression overtake them um, and to have it affect their work life and their finances. Don't stress about your finances. If, oh, I know it's easier said than done with that, honey. But um, don't worry about... <laughs> Hopefully, I guess I will, I'm trying to say, Cancer, is like if you are having stresses about uh, your financial situation or your career, um, stay the course because it's looking really promising. Knight of Swords in the reverse is showing to me this is where you guys are probably having a lot of uh, anxiety about as well um, and trying to find reasons to continue pushing forward. Right? It's a very powerful message right off the bat with that. We have the sun card coming in, the best card in the deck, darling. The sun card is like, don't worry. Again, it's like things are going to be so powerful for you. This is just, I know, Cancer, right now you feel like you're in a dark place. You're feeling a little bit hopeless about some things, but I promise you, things are just going to be so beautiful for you. You just have to stay the course a little bit longer, right? We have the three of wands in the reverse. You know, you might even this even this week. I have to be honest, right? Cancer, I'm like, I can't just promise the pot of gold by the end of this week with this three of wands stepping forward. This is still you might still re deal with some like some uh, scares this week, or you may not get like the reaffirming signs that you really want. To being like, all right, Valka, you're saying the finances are going to be good this week, right? That does that mean I'm going to get like a raise, honey? Right, right now, no. This three of wands shows to me where it's like. Things are going to work out soon, but you're going to have to work through a little bit more obstacles in your life, honey. Six of Pentacles in the reverse as well. But what you're doing is not a waste of time, Cancer. That is the message I want to say when it comes to your finances and your career. What you're doing is not a waste of time. So get out of your head about that um, and just stay the course because things are going to look so promising for you soon. I promise you, Cancer. So now, Cancer, before we close out this reading for you today, honey, let's get into a quote from a quote card, because y'all know I love my quotes. Let's see what quote you can take with you throughout this week, Cancer. So we have, 
I'm kidding. Uh, we have this card that says, I'm unapologetic about what I desire, and I trust that what I focus on will grow. I love this. I love it, Cancer, when it goes so beautifully, when my cards just go so beautifully together and just completes the storyline, right? What was, it, what was I just saying about your career and finances? Stay in the course. Your answers are coming really soon. I hope this is what you need to tell yourself, especially, uh, Cancer. Do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. Keep on going. I know it's going to seem hard for a little bit longer, but uh, trust the process, honey. Trust the process. But... I love you so much, Cancer. I hope you found some cards that resonated with you today in this reading. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did. Let me know if you enjoyed that quote. Um, also, if you enjoyed this reading in my energy today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you would like to book a private personal reading with me, Cancer, my website is simplyvelka.com. It's down in below, just along with my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. It's just all Simply Velka. Cancer, if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, darling, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message to resonate with them as well. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much.